the very last day of vlogtober 2023 i cannot believe it's already over but this this is my last video for you all it's actually only the 21st for me but this will be posting next saturday or yeah next saturday so it's actually saturday the 21st for me but we're going to end this on saturday and then we're going to be jumping into november which is going to be all about Christmas so today I showed you my house is a mess it's a mess I just kind of I was busy yesterday and I didn't do anything last night you know to sort of like reset the house for the day for the next day I knew I could catch up today so I did throw a load of laundry in I have to go grocery shopping and I want to get that done I want to get home because I have a lot of things I want to do around here I'm actually gonna share one more recipe in this last video I'm also gonna have a patio chat with you I had a question in my comments and I told the lady that I would respond to it on a video so I'll be doing that in a little while all right just like that it's like three hours later it's 4 30 almost I am so hungry grocery shopping always makes me so so hungry okay so my meal plan we're gonna do <laughs> two meals I'm still carrying over from like weeks ago chicken and dumplings and hibachi I just we just actually ate leftovers more than I planned so also Michael's birthday's tomorrow we're gonna go out we're gonna go on a date one night We'll have leftovers probably at least three nights in the next two weeks. Also for Halloween, I'm gonna make chili and hot dogs. I always just do that. We're gonna have chicken sandwiches, a new chicken crock pot recipe that I'm probably gonna share, um, baked nachos, which I'm doing tonight because it's super easy and quick. We're gonna do the crazy crust pizza again that I showed you yesterday. That was just like the easiest, quickest pizza and it was really delicious. We're gonna do this other chicken dish that I just saw Jennifer from Cook, Clean and Repeat. She made it and it looked delicious. Broccoli cheese soup with potato again, and that is it. That is it for the for the two-week meal plan. I'm also going to share a dessert recipe. This will be my last recipe to share for October. I'll show you that in a little while, but I'll show you the groceries. All right, I got some honey crisp apples this time. They were a little more expensive, but they looked really good, so we'll try those. Uh, I've got a half gallon of milk that is leaking. Got to get that up. I've got a watermelon, some celery and carrots, an onion, you know, for soups. Got some bananas, potatoes. I haven't tried this, but it looked good. Honey roasted sweet corn, and it's got peppers. I don't know if it's got onions, but that was good. Got some sweet peas and some broccoli. I got some rotisserie seasoned lunch meat, chicken for Jackson, some hot dogs. I just got the big one. We'll have this. We can freeze whatever we don't eat at Halloween, and then we can have those. A lot of times it's actually more economical to buy the big one. I got two things of ground beef two of my chicken cutlets and then I got a pack of thin sliced chicken breasts to I'm gonna fry them up and put them on sandwiches got some mozzarella cheese for the pizza some cream cheese pepper jack that's for our nachos tonight three packages of medium cheddar some butter waffles for Jackson for breakfast some taquitos for Marion and of course uh, of course barking at the neighbor's kids out there um we got some sonic tots we're gonna have those with our chicken sandwiches our favorite chicken strips as of late those are great jackson got them in the air fryer got marion some snacks he loves these i haven't bought these in ages they used to be a dollar now they're a dollar 58 so i don't buy them very often i also got some fig bars and some of these apple danishes those are for him and also got marion the churro uh, trail mix and I got Jackson the peanut butter trail mix. These are the same price, but this is 26 ounces and this is 17 ounces. This is so so full, but Jackson really likes that one. Got some chili seasoning, some more tuna for Marion, angel hair pasta for a recipe, Jackson's juice pouches, some spaghetti. Got Jackson these just for a treat that he loves pumpkin, pumpkin muffins. And then I got some more of these. These are my favorite snack lately. The extra toasty Cheddar Jack Cheez-Its. Got some Cheerio Oat Crunch Almond for me. Some Ritz. This is going to be for my little pecan dessert tonight and also for snacking. Uh, peanut butter chocolate chip granola bars for Jackson. Cheddar Bay Biscuits for a recipe. Two boxes of chocolate fudge brownie. I'm going to make those probably tonight or tomorrow for, for Michael's birthday. Then I got a giant bag of chocolate chips and some brown sugar I got some uh, 18 eggs hot dog buns these are for sandwiches sandwich rolls brioche buns and bagels and then down here is all of the drinks vanilla coke Gatorade bubbly water and then cat food and dog food and then I have a bunch of my cans of 
cat and dog food. I had to buy more because, you know, Claire is only, she's only like licking the gravy. So I bought like these with the extra gravy. She really likes those. And then the others actually like the pate. So there's a bunch. And then I got a bunch of these little shakes because I can put these into a syringe and she does pretty good. She'll, she'll drink some of it on her own and then we just use a syringe and give the rest of it to her. So really we use one of these a day. So I need to get more. I only got eight. Also got dog treats and a couple seasoning. I needed poultry seasoning and ground cinnamon. I got three of these tricolor beans for my pot of chili. Two of our favorite lasur peas three of the roasted garlic tomato sauce, some syrup, parmesan, I actually got this from my mom, she asked me to pick it up, some more pizza sauce, this was so good, this was so good when I used it last night, um, some diced, some chili ready diced tomatoes, I don't think I've bought this before, I usually get the petite diced, but this will be for my chili, and then a couple non-food items, I got the sweet berry cider, I smelled like every wax melt they had, and that's the one I chose, so hopefully it smells good. Marion's vitamins, they didn't have the Centrum gummies, so I just had to get these for him. We were out. Some shampoo. Oh, she's driving me crazy. Um, magnesium for me and omeprazole, and then some more. I desperately needed some more sponges. So that is that. I'm going to put it away, and then I'm going to work on dishes and laundry and dinner and all the things.
so while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and share this recipe with you. It's called Ritz Cracker Pecan Pie. It's very different than a regular pecan pie, so um, it's not what you think. But my washer is so loud right now. <laughs> it's annoying, I'm so sorry. But I gotta get this done. So um, you're gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of chopped pecans, a cup of sugar, three egg whites, and then about one sleeve of Ritz crackers, but I have the little ones, so it's about 35, 36 crackers crushed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate the egg whites and just use those, and we're gonna mix those until soft peaks form, or stiff peaks form. Okay, so now I'm gonna crush the Ritz crackers and add them to another bowl and the vanilla and the sugar and the pecans. So we're gonna put this into a greased pie pan. I think it's supposed to be deep dish, but I just have a regular pie dish, so we're gonna make it work. This is my grandma's pie dish. I always get questions about it, but it's beautiful and it's an heirloom. So this recipe originally, or I saw this recipe from Jessica O'Donohue, so I will link her video down below where she made it. My nachos are done, so I'm going to take these out and switch them over. Oh, smells so good. This cooks at 350, bakes at 350 for 25 minutes. And there's our nachos. They smell so good. I think I'm going to eat. And after I eat, I'm going to tackle all of that. This just came out of the oven and it smells so good. And I decided everything's better with chocolate chips. So I put some chocolate chips on there and they're pretty much melted. I'm gonna just make like a thin layer of chocolate and then I'm gonna let that cool a little bit before I put the Cool Whip on. So the recipe does show you how to make homemade uh, like whip topping, but this is what I'm gonna use because we have this leftover from Jordan's birthday and I wanna use it up. So I'm gonna just spread the chocolate chips into a thin layer, let that cool while I finish cleaning the kitchen. We'll come back and add the cream, they'll cool it.
what I decided to do is just cut this like a pie and then just put a dollop of Cool Whip on top instead of putting it all on there. We'll just do a dollop because it's going to take forever for this to cool completely. And if I put Cool Whip on it, it'll melt. So I'm going to cut it like a piece of pie. I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. I'm like so excited to try this. Pecan pie is one of my all-time favorite desserts. And I've made pecan pie before with, and I've put chocolate in it, and it was so good. All right, cheers. Mm. So weird. It tastes like pecan pie. It tastes like pecan pie. I don't even taste the Ritz. All right, I'm gonna try a piece without chocolate on it. Mm. Now I taste the Ritz. Mm -hmm. So I like it with the chocolate. I would like it without it too. So, so I will link this recipe down below and also Jessica's video. She just does she does really pretty cooking videos. So just like that, it is Sunday afternoon. We just got back from church and we're. Um, I have to get uh, Michael's gift basket ready. I sat down last night. And well, actually, last night I made the brownies because I wanted them to cool completely. So I need to cut these up. We're going to bring those to the restaurant. Did I tell you that? We're going to. I'm just going to bring it to the restaurant for. It's one of like the desserts he really likes. He doesn't like cake, so I have to do those. I need to run out and buy like individual, like the large muffin cups, not just like the regular or like a cupcake liner. You know, they make like large ones. So I'm going to go get some of those. I'm Madison's going to call me soon, and we're going to run to the store. But right now I need to work on a little, like, just a little decoration for his gift. So I'll show you what I did. I just designed this on my Cricut design space and I'm gonna print it off on cardstock and then just like glue the label or the layers together. I'm gonna go print those off so I can finish that. And then I'm gonna put his gift together with some tissue paper. All right, I have to just find I do have red, blue, and I wasn't sure if I had red, blue, and yellow. I thought those would be good colors to make it. I always keep scrap scraps of scrapbook paper in here for just this kind of thing. I have so many, so many scraps. But I thought that the gold might be kind of cool. I don't know if I'll have, I don't know. I might could do the 30, that might be too thick. Oh, there's a green. Maybe I'll do green. I like that. All right, I think I'm going to do that. I changed the 30 to green, so it'll be all the colors. This is a different thing. I'm going to go ahead and print that off too, but that's for a different project. everything cut out it's gonna be tricky gluing those little words on but I just need to glue those together and then I'm gonna put a stick tape them to the back of a stick and I grab some tissue paper
it is finished. I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> Full of all, a lot of things he loves. Hopefully he'll think that's fun. It'll be fun for him to take it home and unpack it and find all the little treats. I feel like guys are hard to buy for. So we just went the fun route this time because he said he didn't need anything. I thought, you know what? This isn't a need. This is a want. So that is his gift. I have to go get my mom pretty soon because we're going to go meet at the restaurant. But I wanted to answer this question that I had in the comments about why does the loving God allow these atrocities to happen? I'm talking about um, everything that hap is happening in the Middle East. And she was questioning if God even exists. And I said briefly um, what I believe, but I said that I would expound a little bit more in a video. So this is for you. This is also for anyone that needs to hear, is confused, is, is wondering, is hurting, is not sure. What I believe and what the Bible says is that God created the earth and people and he created Adam and Eve and he put them in the Garden of Eden and everything was perfect and he gave them one one rule was not to eat from this one tree of the knowledge of good and evil and Satan tempted them and they did and you, we all know the story of Eve and the apple and then she gave it to Adam and he chose to to eat the apple and sin entered into the world and the Bible says that the wages of sin is death so because sin entered into the world um, now death has become a part of it um, humans die, animals die, the earth, the plants die. It's all a result of that and so is everything else that comes along with it. Fear and pride and uh, uh, greed and just all, all of the sins that's all entered into this perfect world that he created and now it has corrupted this world and the Bible says that our real enemy is the devil and it says that he is like a roaring lion roaming the earth seeking whom he may devour because the devil knows his time is limited so he knows that eventually he will be banished forever to hell and he will have no power and that death and fear and sin all sin will be bound forever so he's doing as much as he can while his time is here on this earth but we have to live in this world full of turmoil and problems and sickness and pain and tears and death and all the awful things. We have to live in this world, but we, ha we can rest assured that God is good, always good. God is loving. God is here with, with us at all times, walking with us. He says he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And he means never, no matter what you're going through, if you're doubting him, talk to him. He's not too he's not too far away for you to talk to him and tell him your fears and your doubts and your worries and your troubles. Like he wants you to be fully transparent with him. Give him your tell him your what's in your heart. Just tell him what's in your heart. God, I don't even know if I believe that you exist anymore. And the Bible says that if you seek him, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart. So I encourage you to get a Bible. There's a free app called U Version. It's the Bible app. Um, and find a translation that you can understand. I personally like the NLT, New Living Translation. That's the verses I put at the end of my videos. Um, they're from the NLT. I just, I just love the way that that version, it just, it's easy for me to understand. There's also an International Children's Bible, which is super easy to understand. And I really love that one too. So they have them on the Version app. You can just pick which version you want to read and they have all the versions. You can just choose one that you really understand and just spend some time reading it. And God, through his word will speak to you and your fears and your worries and your doubts will become clear and you'll see the truth from from the lies that the the world tells us are true and the devil uses things like the the things that are happening in the middle east he uses these things to like bring so much fear into our lives and to make us feel like there's no god in this world there's no hope for anyone but that is so not true he knows god's in control and he knows that God is pursuing you. He loves you and he's pursuing you. Until you take your last breath, God is pursuing your heart. Just reaching out and saying, hey, I don't know if I believe this or I don't understand this. Like that is you pursuing him. That is you saying, hey, I want to know the truth. I want to know the truth. And the truth is that when sin entered into this world, so did death and, and all the other things that come along with that. And unfortunately, that's the way this world will be until the day that Jesus comes back and makes it all right. And he will come back and he will make all things right. Unfortunately, we live in a fallen, broken, corrupt world. And we're going to have hard days and we're going to doubt and we're going to worry and we're going to stress and we're going to get overwhelmed. And our mental health can't handle a lot of the things going on in this world. But 
we can give it to him. Keep your eyes on him, keep your focus on him. Okay, but I gotta go get my mom now. Don't let me go eat. I'm hungry. All I have is a little piece of that. Are you limping? That um, pecan pie I made last night. <laughs> this lighting is terrible. Sorry. But every time I have hibachi, I try to like not eat before because they give you so much food, and I want to enjoy it. So I'm gonna load up the car, go get my mom, and then probably. Just do like a little montage, I don't know. I like to kind of do that when I'm with a bunch of people. Um, it's easier for me just to get some clips here and there and just really enjoy the moments that we're together and just put it into a little, <laughs> you know, a little montage at the end. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye in case I don't get back on here again. But I love you all so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me all of Vlogtober. I hope that you enjoyed it so much. It was so fun. I look forward to Vlogtober and vlog Vlogmas every year. I try to mix it up a little bit, you know, giving you some recipe. Oh, you know what? I didn't do my shout out, my channel shout out. Let me just think. I had made a list. Okay, I'm gonna give you one off the top of my head. I have a long list and I was randomly picking them. So this one literally just came to me. Charlotte Grove Farmhouse. She has the most beautiful house. I love her house. Go check her out. Just go look at her house, if nothing else. She has this like laundry room floor that's brick. The floor is brick. It is so beautiful. And her backsplash in her kitchen is brick and it speaks to me i just love it she has the most beautiful house go check her out but she's such a real she's like she's a mom of five kids she works but she does these beautiful calming videos that you will love and she does a lot of like cleaning and cooking inspiration so homemaking you know go check her out she's just the sweetest sweetest mama and you'll love her maybe you've seen her i don't know but i love charlotte grove charlotte grove farmhouse i'll link her down below anyway i love you guys make sure to give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you missed any vlogtober videos there's a playlist link down below you can start from the beginning but we're gonna be jumping into christmas decor very soon in fact madison and i went out there got a few more things that i'm getting excited so i hope you guys are ready for the christmas content coming <laughs> but i'm gonna leave you now with um our celebration with michael and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye